Hi, I'm Michelle, and the first time I saw porn was... Oh, he's convincing her to... <gasps> not that long ago. Today, I'm gonna be spending the day with a porn star. What intrigues me a lot about the adult film industry and porn stars in general is that their line of work is sharing something that is so private, yet their normal life is completely unknown to the public. So I'm really interested to see what is actually her private life. Hi. 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 Nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. Welcome to my little my little cottage. The ukuleles, I have seven of them. These are two of them. This one is Vinny, he's a concert size uke. And that one's Chibs, which is an acoustic electric that plugs in. Sweet dear, you're my mac and cheese. I could eat you each day. How long have you been rock climbing? I've been rock climbing for about five, six years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mia has really, really kindly offered to take me. I'm gonna be a complete noob, but we'll see how it goes. Well, make sure you're safe. That's okay. the important part. I've been in adult film for almost three years. How did you get started? Well, I have always been a very sexual person, and at that point of my life, I was exploring being queer and polyamory and open relationships and swinging, and someone had said offhand, like, hey, you should do porn. So I went on Craigslist of all things. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a feel for this and then, and see what I can do and make decisions based on that. I felt like I was in the career that was meant for me. It felt like the community that I've been waiting for that's super sex positive and mindful and smart. Okay, so we are here in San Diego about to boulder this rock which means we're rock climbing without ropes. There are definitely things you learn, like opening up to the camera, finding your light, making sure your hair isn't covering your face while you're sucking a cock. Are you ever like self-conscious on camera? Absolutely, but I try not to focus on that when I am on. Yay, rock climb. So you go up this way. What was it like telling your friends and family that you were doing this, or do they not know? My community in San Diego, I'm out, so let family members know. Definitely a hard thing to talk about with my family because we, I had no sexual education from my parents other than don't do it. I'm from a really conservative town, like yeah. very religious. Oh do, you, do, you watch, do you watch porn now? I mean, sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I grew up and I obviously knew what masturbation was, but I just thought it was a thing that guys did. And We're like, taught. I just thought like, wow, like I've been relying on guys to do this for so many years. Mm -hmm. And now I don't feel like That's right. I have to have that. And that was really empowering. Oh my God. You got it. Yay. Do you want a picture up there? Yeah. Have you ever felt uncomfortable during a scene? Certainly, and that's why safe words are in place, to make sure that line of communication is open, to make sure that those uncomfortable moments are just moments of adjustment and not necessarily something from a malicious place. Horrible people do exist. The majority of the people in the industry and the people that I have encountered are there because we love our profession and we respect each other well enough to understand everything about consent and make sure that all the acts that we do are consented by and that we're having a good time because that's what makes good content. There we go. This yeah. is where you cam. This is one of the places that I can One of the cam. places. Yeah. Can you show, like, some tips? Teach me how to do this. Okay. If I were to So cam. pretend that's the webcam, right? Okay, I'll pose my body so I can show, like, enough skin and, like, look really curvy, like, because I have those sometimes. And, like, prop myself up on my elbow. Or if I want, I can like tighten the frame so it's like from my hips up to, and I can sit comfortably like this for a longer period okay. of time. I like glass flip hugs and glass toys because you can make them really cold. What is this? A butt plug. Oh. This is really fun because if the tail's out, I can like tug on the tail and like stimulate my butthole. And this oh. is my butt. I have stuff in my mouth. I have like butt plug for uh. <laughs> That's the danger of Which one's your plugs. favorite? This guy. I love that. That one's guy. the prettiest. Have you ever like faked orgasms? Fake orgasms? Yeah. Yeah. 
Because not everything, some, some people are like, I want it this way, super hard, at this speed, faster, harder, in five seconds, come for me right now. I'm like, okay, this person doesn't know how orgasms work. And they're just like making a lot of demands. I like set my boundaries because that's what sex work is all about. Setting your boundaries and saying to me like, this is about me, sweetie. What do female performers do when they get their periods? For work, makeup sponges. What is that? So you know that thing that's squishy that you use to apply foundation on your face? Shove that up your cooter. So I want to know, what is the greatest number of times you've orgasmed in a day? 26 in an hour. And then I didn't count the rest because it was like a challenge by a, a camp member. A dick in your mouth. There was a dick in your mouth. It was rather big and veiny. I was surprised and kind of not. You did cry the first time we had sex. I said, don't you worry. You look like your hands are full. Just kidding, just your mouth.